Well, chalk probably has you thinking of summertime and kids, not political protests. But this is what many people have been turning to in light of not being able to gather in person. And that means a recent sign at Education Minister Adriana Lagrange's office is raising some eyebrows. Of course, people are having their voices heard. And, and yeah, sidewalk chalk has always been a way to do it. And it's, it's, it's effective. Red Deer resident Stephen Meridu noticed this bright yellow sign cautioning against sidewalk chalk, citing the criminal code and mischief. When he stopped by the constituency office for a different protest, dropping off a report card for the minister, highlighting his criticism of the curriculum review. A spokesperson for the education ministry telling City News, neither Minister LaGrange or her office staff are responsible for putting any signs up regarding chalk, which Meridu is inclined to believe. I can kind of understand why they would want to minimize that and minimize traffic in front for the other tenants of of the building, but to ultimately be attempting to limit the expression of people in what's usually a fairly clean and wholesome and, and colorful way is disturbing to say the least. And, and the irony, if you like, in this particular case is that what might not have gotten as much attention has actually got increased attention because of uh, threats to, to uh, call the police or prosecute people for drawing in chalk. And an Edmonton man drove to Red Deer after seeing the sign to add his chalk art, saying someone from the office did threaten to call police. Political scientist Lori Williams says many of the constituency protests she's seen stem from Albertans not feeling heard by government. Unfortunately, inflicted their own um, problems with these rollouts because they haven't done the kind of consultation that that could have generated the kind of buy-in and, and confidence that people need. LaGrange's Red Deer office has seen anger beyond chalk. Three weeks ago, the minister tweeted about a rock being thrown through the window, saying she encourages peaceful protest and debate but violence and vandalism is completely unacceptable. Williams says political anger is amplified by the economic and health realities of the pandemic. And, and, and it's that sort of level of anger, that perception that the government isn't listening. I think that's the kind of thing that, that uh, can be damaging on a longer term basis and that is problematic. But it's a very difficult thing to come back from. For the resident uh, who shared this image, he still wants his concerns about the curriculum review addressed. And they should say, well, since I can't chalk outside your, your office, I, I'm, I'm requesting that you call me back, right? I, I want you to, to write me back about my concerns and address them. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.